Alright guys, what is going on? Shell's back here again for the Mighty Cream out here on FIFA 19 episode 2 here. We have a long distance to cover now. I'm a bit stretched for time today, so I'm going to try and get through the Leicester game. No guarantee I'll get to Brighton, unfortunately. I would love to be able to get that game done in this episode, but I just feel like it might be a bit of a stretch too much. I'm going to try my best here. I'm going to whiz this transfer window to get all the deals out of the way. We do have another guy to buy today, a defender. I made my decision. I'm not going to say just yet who it is, but let's crack into it. So there you see it. Phil Jones off to Crystal Palace. Delighted to get him off the books. A player that I just don't really have time for. Um, pardon me, that's my Siri. Pardon, apologies for that. Uh, again, it just... It wasn't going to work out here at Man United. We got a good deal from 15.5 million. He's 26. He's not going to grow to 85 overall. It's time to move on. Nice bit of money to the kitty. We'll take it. Another player departure here as Juan Mata. We'll be heading over to Leicester City to play for them now. I think it was a 26.3 million dollar deal. 26.1, pardon me, million dollar deal. Again, a player who has had a fantastic run, whether it be at Chelsea or Man United, has been a fantastic footballer. But he is getting up in age. I think it's time to move on from his contract. I think we, you know, the best of the deal. You know, we've got him out for 26 million. He's only going to go down in rating as he's 30 years old. That gives us a chance to potentially go and get another right sided player, a guy who can play in that right wing spot. Big move here as Leverkusen have bought Marwan Fellaini away from the club for 15 million. The cancer is gone. We sold him for 10 million more than he's actually worth. Actually, hang on, that's the distance. He's not worth anything. He is literally. The most useless player in the world. Thank God we got rid of him now. The best news is, we're rid of Fellaini. We've got Milankovic Savage in. Thank the Lord we got an actual soccer player who can actually play, you know, use both feet, can score, can play in attack, defence. Fellaini can't do anything. All he's good to, good to do is play in the team's box. He plays as a centre defence midfielder. Like someone explained that to me. I have no idea why coaches like the guy at all. He's one of the worst footballers I've ever come across in the world. Roy Keane would run rings around him at 42 or 43, wherever he is now. But that's my opinion. I'm not a big fan of his. Delighted to get rid of him. Hopefully, we never see him again. So, it's time for us to get a centre back. As you see, that number seven jersey has been updated. He agrees with Pogba is on the wall. Easily our two best players behind Dave the Rave. Let's talk to the interrep and let's get this deal for Milan Skriniar through. Now, I believe I'm going to start the offer with 60 million. I feel it's a very fair number. And, you know, I'm willing to, you know, bargain here. I'm looking to try and get around 70, 75 million would be ideal. Okay, obviously, he wants 83, right? Let's give him 70 and see what he says dead. You know, obviously, I don't want to just, you know, be uh, dragged over the table. But I think 70 is a fair offer. Okay, how about 72.5? Bit of hardball here, but I'm going to go up to, I think I can get him to 75. Okay, let's do 75. 75, deal. I think 75, we get, you know, we get a nice deal. You get a nice deal. He's worth 46 million. Good deal, please. We have a deal. Boom, get in. Back of the net. Cheers, lot Inter. I love that. I was going to say Lazio there for a sec, but I quickly changed out of it. But yes, big deal there. So here he is, the new rock in our defense that's going to go along with Eric Bellali. I mean, you can't make a defense. He's so good, important, absolutely. I'd make you crucial, but you know, hey, who cares? Anyway, four-year contract, sounds fair. Happy with that, love that. You love to hear it. Release clause. Nah, we don't want release clause. We're not selling them anytime soon. We're not in Europe here, we can do what we want. You know what? That is absolutely fine by me. Not even gonna try bargaining with them. I'm happy with those deals. Welcome to Manchester United, Milan Screenyard. So here we go. Chance now to solidify our team for the year. This is basically gonna be our final signing of the transfer window and probably for the rest of the year. Gone with Roseman and Bellet here. We've got the deal done. Let's sort this contract out. We're going to have an important role. He's going to be involved coming off the bench pretty much for us, I presume. Good, he's happy with that. Five-year contract. Yes, please. No problem with that. Yeah, I don't think I want to release clause. I'm going to keep him for as long as I can. Appearances. Yeah, it's got to go up. Budget's got to move that and, and 
sort out the wages. Cool, perfect. 110 a week. Happy to do that. That's a great deal. Great bit of business. Osman Dembele, welcome to Man United. Cannot wait to see this guy come off the bench and absolutely be an absolute force for us. So here's a look at our team just before the first game of the season. Let's see this line. I'll give, give Pogba the cam roll at the moment. I'm going to see how that works out. I think very close giving it to Mankovic Savage. I'm not really sure who would suit better. I think Pog would be a bit better up there. Mankovic Savage matches the two Serbians in our midfield. Shaw is going to probably improve throughout the season. A is going to improve. Skriniar is going to be an absolute rock on defence. Right back's really the next weak point in the team. And I'm not really sure what to do with that position. You know, it's, it's definitely an area I look at. And I'm like, I'm not really sure how we can fix that. You know, there's obviously, I think Bai can play right back, but I think he. What's his crossing like? Is it where's that what we're looking for? It's not great. It's like 51. Then Valencia should be terrible as well. <laughs> just a 79 crossing. The man can't cross for life. But it's you know, it's where the errors we need to look at. You know, if we could tell Sanchez maybe after the window closes, we could potentially look to make bring right back. But look at the bench. Sanchez, Lingard, Dembele, Fred, Rashford, Smalling, and Herrera. I mean, it's quite the good bench. Lindelof. You know, Pereira's there. You know, Dalit's gonna be a good. I think about Dalit, he's just he's just too far away to really have an instant impact in this team. But I feel like Valencia's gonna go down this year, and he's gonna keep going down. So that's really the weakness. But anyway, let's get into some action. Let's get into the game against Leicester City. Well, here we are. The Alex Ferguson stand. We're live back at Old Trafford. It's good to be back. Premier League action here, Manchester United versus Leicester City. It doesn't get better than this. Let's crack into the team lineups. We'll have a look at this Man United side here. It is absolutely stacked, start to finish. Valencia is the captain, I didn't mean to leave him like that, but we'll leave it for today. Great defence, that Serbian midfield is going to be dominating. Griezmann, Pogba, Martial, the old French trio there in attack. And of course, Lukaku up front, finishing off the goals. Let's see what they've got like Schmeichel and Goal, Fantastic World Cup, Ricardo Pereira, new signing, Murillo, of course, from Valencia, Maguire, Chilwell, that's a good back on between And Didi, of course, the main threat there. Matt gets a start with Madsen and Albrecht. And then, of course, Jamie Vardy up front are the guy we've got to deal with. Lovely play, Smakovic Savic. Oh my, what a goal to start your career at Old Trafford. One mistake by Leicester City. And Lankovic Savage slots at home. Number 32. What a finish. Great job, Lukaku. Sees the gap there. Gets in front. I believe that. No, it's not Maguire. I thought it was Maguire. But one has to wonder where Maguire was there. But lovely volley. First time. Hits it where Casper Schmeichel just simply cannot get to. Lovely finish, lovely goal, great opening account at Old Trafford. Congratulations, Mike Savage. Love that celebration. It's Manchester United in the lead. Oh, Poppy dispossesses him. Inside. Is it there? Lukaku turns the corner. Has a look. Oh, that would have been a killer. That would have been 2 0 outside 10 minutes. We're playing vintage Stralax football here. And Smeichel, oh my, that was inches from being perfect. Not cleared away. How did you miss? Cheers, Mata. Appreciate it. You're still a Man United player at heart. He just boots over the bar. Appreciate that. There knew there's a good reason I sold you on. Cheers, Mata. Appreciate that. That that really should have got in. I'm glad that wasn't Madsen or Vardy because they would absolutely smashed the back of the net. Martial for the break has a little look. Oh, Anthony, 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 come on. Kaku looks for Pogba with the top. Oh, acrobatic finish there. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. That's a straightforward piece of work for the goalkeeper. There it is, half time 1 0. A Mike Savage goal perfectly poised the game. 
still feel like I could have put it to bed there two or three times, but I just never got the ball into the, the final quarter, and unfortunately it just uh, didn't quite work out. But Mata, thanks for missing the open chance. I'll take it. 1-1. One, one. Pardon me, 1-0. Jesus, I 1-1. Jeez, I don't know what I was thinking there. Anyway, 1-0. Let's head to second half. Oh my, oh jeez, I thought it was in. Oh my. Well, yeah, Carl Mankford Savage, but we get a replay here of that chance. Let's have a look ourselves. Okay, right. Um, let's have a look at this. Maddot chips it off. Madsen. Is it too Vardy? Okay, ball comes through. Nearly dead. Luke Short nearly gets it away from Mata. Mata chips it to Vardy, and Vardy just. I thought that was in. I actually thought that was in. Oh my god. How did that not end up the back of the net? Well, we've caught a relief there. Substitution time for Leicester as Madsen goes off for Silva. I think that's. Who? Which one is that? Um, but yeah, here's our substitution well, coming up right now. Rashford coming on well, for well, Martial, Ozman de Bella coming on for Antoine Griezmann, and Ander Herrera coming on for Sergei Milankovic Savage. Ander Herrera finds Rashford. Rashford to close with game off. Great save by Schmeichel. That really could have been it, but great bit of play there. Interlinking in the box. Probably should have maybe looked for the pass there, but. That's in hindsight. And I try and Pogba. Pogba to finish the game off. Ah, jeez. Just never got that shot at all right. Try to go for the driven shot. Just chipped it instead. And that, fortunately, doesn't end up in the back of that. Matic should close the game off. Oh, my goodness, Matic. Where is that aimed at? Is that hit? You hit that back to Serbia, did you? And there it is, full time, 1 0. A pretty poor second half, but again, I, I feel like I had the most time of possession of the ball, so that, but I just never really could get a clean shot away, and that ultimately is what was the difference. But a good win, a much needed win, and that is a good finish to the episode, I feel. And definitely a good start. We're getting better, we're starting to improve a little bit more, and then the next episode we'll have Brighton and Spurs coming up, but uh, yeah, I'm not happy. Not not the worst result in the world, but we could definitely be better. And I think 1-0 is probably a fair result. They had some good chances. That Jamie Vardy shot that should have gone in was probably their best shot, but not about half. So stats there, 9 shots to 7, 3 on target there too. We dominated possession, but I mean, it was never really a clear game. Man of the match performance for Romelu Lukaku. I thought he was pretty good today as well, but my man of the match was Serge Mankovic Savage, and that was because of the goal. He was by far my number one player today. Lukaku was very good. I felt he pretty much controlled the game. And then who was the second best player in the team today? I think third best player. I think I'd have to give it to probably Griezmann. I felt Griezmann on the right was very good, very attacking. So they're my one, two, three. Probably going to do that for every game. Give guys, you know, ranks of one, my three best players. And then, of course, maybe an honorary mention, of course, to the player that maybe didn't quite get the rating they deserve. But that's how I feel today. Those are the three best players on the pitch. I thought Pogba had a good start, but kind of needed more out of him in a way um, but I'm sure we'll get that anyway later on but not a bad start to the season not a bad you know you can't go wrong with one point Marcia actually was very didn't get any service today at all so I'm disappointed with that but anyway guys let's finish it up here I'll see you guys in the next episode hope you guys don't mind it's a short episode today I'm gonna try and record this next one tomorrow but um, yeah limited time at the moment hope you guys understand that but anyway guys hope you guys enjoy your day and I'll see you guys next time peace out enjoy your day I'll see you guys soon.